Gift a Trip partnered with Space Perspective, which is being able to host an incentive trip 100,000 feet in the air, right? In a capsule? Is this what Whoa. we're saying? Like, give me the logistics of this. What am I looking at here? Where do you go to, like, load up for this thing? <laughs> well, it's all done because they're in partnership with NASA, so it's all done at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, right? And it really is a VIP experience. No special training. You don't need to be an astronaut. There's no G <laughs> courses. It's a it's a six hour VIP experience. That's a very smooth meeting, ascending, and you're in a space below that takes you up to space to the outer limits of space, where only 600 people to date have ever visited. Oh, and it takes, I think you spend about two hours up over the curvature of the Earth before you descend back down slowly gradually you land in water and then this vip yacht picks you up hey everybody we have both co-founders of an awesome company on the podcast today pam cressley and Lori cassidy they are co-founders of gift a trip which is a one-stop shop for both corporate buyers and consumers to source purchase and deliver turnkey individual travel certificates hi you guys hello hi. how are you We're so good so for people right who here. don't exactly know what that means can you explain what turnkey travel certificates are go ahead lori Sure. Well, basically, um, our certificates, it's all about making it very easy for corporate buyers and consumers alike to purchase the gift of travel. So what we have done is we have curated a collection of brands, really the top cruise resort and hotel brands out there with our brand supplier partners to create a turnkey certificate program, which provides a lot of options, flexibility, and choice for the recipient to travel. And the beauty of our certificates is that they are inclusive, meaning that they are they include the accommodations, the taxes, the resort fees, the gratuities, value added if, if it's not an all-inclusive brand. And it provides the recipient year-round validity so they can travel year-round. Most of them do not have an expiration date. They're upgradable, they're transferable. So they're really a recipient's dream when it comes to being gifted and vacation. And that's a, that was really our purpose that we set out to do when we created Gift a Trip is we wanted to fill a void in the marketplace that existed today because these types of vacation experiences did not exist prior to us launching Gift a Trip and our portfolio brands. So it's pretty exciting for both, you know, corporate buyers as well as consumers alike. That's amazing. What that's awesome that you like pioneered this thing. Really? What in your prior experience of like this industry, like where did you see the void and fill the need? Well, it's a really good question. Uh, actually, you know, Pam and I have been friends for 30 years and business colleagues for 30 years and Sweet. predominantly in the hospitality space and in the cruise space. And most recently we were both at Royal Caribbean International. And while there, um, I was not only responsible to drive the growth of our Greek business in the mice sector, but I was also responsible to build their individual incentive uh, business. So we actually created the turnkey certificate program at Royal Caribbean and it did gangbusters. It was really a wild success. And That's Pam awesome. and I, over the course of many years, used to say to ourselves, gosh, why don't other brands have this type of product on their shelf? Because it's a solution that so many buyers need today because of the changing times and the changing trends. So that's when we said, let's hang up our corporate hats and let's delve into, you know, building this platform that is much needed out in the marketplace to build a void that we we saw existed today. So it's pretty kind of cool, you know, that we were able to do what we've done at such a short period of time, but it really came down to the friendships and the relationships that we've established over the course of our 30 years. Doors were open for us by our brand partners that we are so fortunate and thankful for because without that, probably we wouldn't be here today. I oh will say God. you guys are kind of like legends in the industry because uh, <laughs> when we mention your your name, people light up. So they I don't know what, what you guys have done to people in the past 10 <laughs> years, but you're like superstars and people no. adore, they adore you guys. So uh, it's very cool to see your guys' success. Um, 
I'm on your web, your website now, and I've been mm-hmm. following you guys, and I know a, a, a little bit of the background, but I notice on the website that there's corporate gifting. So, mm-hmm. you know, if I'm a CEO and I want to give the top 10 salespeople a trip, but I don't want them to go together because I don't necessarily trust 10 salespeople together. Um, <laughs> so I just want them to all go on their own, right? <laughs> so uh, so uh, corporate gifting versus personal gifting. What's the mix of your guys' business today? Because I see both could be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It does, is it more corporate today? Is it more personal? What's the mix? Well, I mean, here's so our focus has been B2B because right. that's the arena that Lori and I have been in for so long. You know, we've Got been it. in the incentive arena for, you know, what, 15 plus years. And, you know, but the B2C space is really interesting because even when Lori and I, as you mentioned, we've been, you know, friends for 30 years and we've worked together for 30 years. We started out as travel agents. Right. Mm. And we would have customers come into our office and say, uh, we want to buy uh, an anniversary cruise for our parents. Got um, it. What does it cost? Or how do I, you know, do you sell a certificate? Like, oh my God, no, it, it doesn't exist. It didn't exist. You know, so yeah. you know, we had to get on our typewriter and literally type up a, a gift certificate for whatever amount of dollars and say, you know, give this to your parents and tell them to come in and we'll do the best we can with this budget. But that's not what they were looking for. They were looking to give the gift of a fully prepaid cruise or a fully no, no. prepaid trip, whatever it was, gotcha. and there was no way to do it. So, of course, we are uh, an e-commerce platform where anybody can go on and buy for a birthday, a wedding anniversary, retirement, um, you know, the holidays, you name it. They could go on and buy a trip and gift it to someone um, in a way that they've never been able to do before. So while it hasn't been our focus, because, you know, like I said, our background is really B2B, the B2C people are finding us and, and no buying these certificates online. Yeah. And it's, you know, we ask them, well, what's it for? And, you know, it's, it's, for, it's really, it's been for, you know, personal gifting for holidays, for birthdays, retirements, um, and anniversaries. So, you know, it's exactly what we intended it for, um, you know, to be accessible for anybody and everybody to buy these certificates because there's just been a complete void in the marketplace for what we do. Yeah, you know what? I'm a little bit upset listening to this because I was thinking back and I'm like, you know what? I always get like a $50 Chili's gift card. (laughs) No no one has gifted me a cruise yet. No one has gifted me a trip to Europe. I got to get better better family and friends. (laughs) Yes. Now you no know more it's chilies again. I want on the cruise. <laughs> Christmas. Sure that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Penny, that's a really good point because that's where we are very different. You know, the world of gift cards is on fire today. There's gift cards for everything and they come in all dollar combinations. Uh. But we are not a dollar denominated gift card or gift certificate. You know, that's where people kind of misunderstand who we are sometimes. So our certificates are for the full vacation experience. So if you're looking at like one grand, for example, let's say Fard Rock All Inclusive Resorts on our site. You can buy a three, four, five, or seven night vacation package for a hard rock stay. And you have a choice of accommodations as well. So you're going to find kind of that kind of methodology and format for all the brands that are represented in our portfolio today. So it's not dollars. Yeah, that's dollars, really cool. For the full vacation. Yeah, that's really cool. And it doesn't matter when you take it. So you can nope. go, there's, nope. and there's no, but there's no blackout dates. Limited blackout dates. Limited. So- Christmas yeah. New Year's are your standard one, but when sure. we set out to build this, we wanted to, it to not be so restrictive for the mm-hmm. recipient because, you know, there's a lot of bait and switch things out there in marketplace and we didn't want to be associated or known for that at all. We wanted uh, to take all the barriers, all the guardrails and make these the real deal. And they really are. Got it. Got it. And how are you guys finding customers today? What's the journey like there? Like it's, it's just the two of you right now, right? You guys don't have any other employees. No, well, we have a yeah. support team, which it's us in the sales, main sales world. We have other people doing the support, you know, support behind the scenes work. But Morgan and I are in the sales. You know, All right. So how exclusive. are you guys doing sales? Walk us through B2B corporate sales. It's a crazy world. A lot of people hear, oh, I'm in B2B sales. But what right. does that look like for you, for you guys? What's like your day to day there? I mean, it's a process. So, you know, it's not as if we get a phone call and, and the, the phone call is, um, I want to buy a hundred gift certificates. Here's my credit card. It's uh. a process, right? So just like when we were in the group arena, there's a you know there's a proposal stage. So they come to you and they tell you what they're looking for. Here's my budget. Here's what we're thinking. Um, here's and then we start asking questions. You know, tell us about your winners. Tell us about you know the demographics of them. Who are they? 
What do they like to do? Um, so what's interesting is, is that so many of them have gravitated toward one particular product of ours because of its flexibility and built in um, variety. And it's called our Flex Trip Collection. And essentially what this is, is see you know, if, if the corporate buyer comes to us and they say, listen, we have a $5,000 budget per couple. Uh-huh. And, you know, instead of saying we're going to buy all white certificates, all Royal Caribbean certificates for everybody, you're all, you know, hard rock certificates for everybody. We want to give them a choice. We allow that with our flex trip collection. So essentially a flex trip collection is a, a collection of trips. They buy at a flat price point, whether it's $3,000, $5,000, $10,000, and the recipient can choose from up to six vacations. So the recipient can take a look at all these different options that we give them and say, I want to go here. I want to take a cruise. I want to go on a golf trip. I want to go on a spa vacation, right? So it has been a huge success when we explain this to our corporate buyers, their faces light up because now they're not, you know, saying you must go on this trip. Yeah. It's you could go on the trip of your choice. So that's why we assess and ask information about the participants so we can kind of put together a collection that we think would be appealing to them whether it's families, whether it's golfers, whether they went all inclusive, the spa, we can put that neat collection together. So again, that's part of the process. We build it out for them. And then the recipient is awarded that certificate and they let us know which trip they want. They receive their certificate and they book it directly with the hotel, resort, or cruise line. And it's completely hands off for uh, the purchaser, which is fantastic. The spa trip. Sounds right up my alley. We first set out to do this in the B2B space. We really thought that our primary target and audience would be the corporate direct end user. So the corporate buyer themselves. But what we found is that through our contacts and relationships in the world of meetings and incentives, a lot of the third party companies, a lot of the incentive houses, a lot of the reward and recognition companies that have reward based platforms and catalogs are knocking on our door and have a need for the product that we represent. And they want us to be your go-to resource when it comes to supporting individual travel rewards. So really the the doors have opened up for us and it's been better than we even anticipated, quite honest. So it's been- Yeah, it's a very resource intensive process for incentive houses and third parties to put together an individual travel reward. It's a lot of time, it's a lot of labor, it's a lot of effort. And they just don't have the resources to ascribe to this kind of thing. So they look to us and say, hey, pull this off the shelf and, and hand it to them. And it's fabulous. So yeah, if yeah. that's why they love it. It saves them time, energy, sourcing resources, uh, and, and effort from fulfillment. It's all done. They could be as hands-on or as hands-off as, as they want. It's designed to be completely turnkey and hands-off. Um, but you know, if they want to get involved in it in some way, they can do that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it has been a huge help to them. And it's funny, Lori and I always laugh and say, if we had a nickel for every time somebody said to us, where have Lunch. you been? <laughs> we <laughs> That's have the needed best. you yesterday. You know, it's, 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 you know, it, like I said, it's been a void and they're so excited to hear that, that we finally filled it. Oh my gosh. What's That's been, great. uh, what's been the biggest sale to date? The one that to like you guys call each worry. other and you're like, uh, oh my God, did that just happen? Because we always mm-hmm. have those moments and we're like, oh, uh, what? <laughs> uh, yeah. So what's been your guys' biggest? You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's it, that's a great, that's an interesting <laughs> question because sometimes Pam and I have to like, you know, we scratch our heads and go, really? Because, you know, there was a brand that we added to our portfolio, a uh, space perspective. And I know Connor, you're right. interested in this brand as is everybody. Oh my gosh. But uh, so we, we brought them on board thinking, this is such a novelty item. This is going to turn heads. This is like an out of this world bucket list experience. Let's throw it on our platform. It's super expensive, you know, because it's it's okay. pretty technologically advanced to do something like this. But uh. lo and behold, the first sale that we at Gift to Trip made was a full capsule buyout of Space for Sex to one okay. of our, our best corporate partners. So, you know, and we're in the process of signing another contract yes. with them as well from another capsule buyout. So yeah. Interesting. Really, it's, it's, it's crazy, but you know, if you look at the world of incentives, companies are looking, they've been there, done that, right? They're mm-hmm. all looking for what's the next best hot thing out there. And honestly, space travel is right up there, right? Well, so now there's That's a so way great. for board 
trips to space. So here we are. Oh my God. Yeah, so I... for those of you listening that don't know what we're talking about, um, Gift a Trip partnered with Space Perspective, which is being able to host an incentive trip 100,000 feet in the air, right? In a capsule? Is this what Whoa. we're saying? Like, give me the logistics of this. What am I looking at here? Where do you go to like load up for this thing? <laughs> well, it's all done because they're in partnership with NASA. So it's all done at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, right? And it really is a VIP experience. No special training. You don't need to be an astronaut. There's no G <laughs> courses. It's a, it's a six hour VIP experience. That's a very smooth, meeting, ascending, and you're in a space balloon that takes you up to space to the outer limits of space, where only 600 people to date have ever visited. Oh, and it takes, I think you spend about two hours up over the curvature of the Earth before you descend back down slowly, gradually, you land in water, and then this VIP yacht picks you up. Oh um, my so gosh, then- what? And then and you then party James on Mond. the yacht, right? Well, you <laughs> yeah. party on the space capsule. There's a bar. <laughs> that is yeah. so. When you guys bar, partnered the with them, did you absolutely study? Um, I imagine you guys had to go up and do a little research, huh? Well, trying- it's not live yet. It's not live <laughs> yet. It's not. It's still being built. The capsule oh is gosh. still being built. The balloon is still being built. Yeah. Um. So the the first. I mean, the, the, there's going to be some uh, pilot uh, flights this summer. Later this summer. Hopefully. Nice flights, yeah. Um, and then um in late twenty twenty four is when the first um guest capsule will go up. Um so our our clients are booked for when twenty five, twenty six, or twenty twenty five, late twenty five. Late twenty five. So um, you know, it's it's gonna take a minute, but um there once that first space balloon and capsule is built, it'll be it'll happen at a much much faster pace. And so they'll be able to, you know, have more launch points more destinations around the world from where they can and uh, watch from. Um, but, uh, you know, our, our clients are all for it. It's funny. People are either but me who are like, I will go tomorrow. I mean, I wouldn't hesitate a second to do it. And it's been a dream of mine to do something like this. And then there's Lori, who's like, you'll never get me. Oh, <laughs> no, thank On that, you. She's like, there's no way, no yeah. how. And I'm like, you know, send me up in a test flight, I'd go. She'll meet um, you in the so- yacht. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's talk yeah. cost for something like that. I mean, uh-huh. if you, I'm just thinking like yeah. my dad used to do like corporate travel so much when I was a kid. And I'm like, if you would have told businessmen in the Mad Men times that you could have your corporate dinner in space, <laughs> this oh. is crazy. It's wild. crazy. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's definitely not for the faint of far when it comes to budget. So um, per person, it's 125000 currently. And for a full buyout, which is eight people in the capsule, it's a million dollars currently. Yes. That's a deal. Do you do you know what's so interesting? It's that often when people start businesses, they want to make as many sales as they can. So they prioritize the cheapest possible offering because they equate mm-hmm. like the easy sale with success. But what people often find is that it's way easier to sell one thing for a million dollars and make a good margin than it is to sell 10,000 things for 10, 000, for 10 bucks, right. right? And so it's, uh, I was looking at your guys' portfolio because you guys have on space, you guys have on the Ritz Carlton yacht experience. Mm-hmm. And I have a theory, I'll check in with you guys next year, that you'll end up selling more of the high end stuff than the low end stuff. Because honestly, like yeah. our, our corporate meetings that are, 15 20 30 people way more work right. way more high touch mm-hmm. than mm-hmm. the 150 person 200 it's just it's more fun i feel like that luxury client is kind of like you take care of my stuff you get me there and yeah. i'll pay you and it's all good yeah and it's interesting because there it's it, what's what's happening is and what Lori was saying about us being you know partners with a lot of our third parties is we are in a lot of their rewards catalogs yeah. And they call these kinds of trips aspirational trips. So people are banking up their points for the big trip, right? They want to save up for that fabulous five-star experience uh. um, that they wouldn't normally buy for themselves, right? So that you're right. I mean, we're we we certainly hope they buy lots of our Ritz Carlton yacht uh, collection certificates um, because it's a fabulous experience. By the way, Lori and I had the opportunity to sail on on them. Was it cool? Um, 
Oh. Yeah. I mean, is that really a question? Yeah. Was uh, it cool? It, well, <laughs> I mean, it, not only was it cool, we, we went to the Panama Canal, which was just a bonus. I mean, the Priyat itself was fabulous. I mean, just, you know, five star, just what you would expect from Ritz Carlton. Oh and gosh, I loved dream. it. Loved it. Um, and they'll be expanding their fleet with more yachts um, to come. So we're so happy to have them in our portfolio. And, uh, you know, it's, we definitely think it's going to be hot star. That literally just came on the shelf. We just finalized uh, our agreement with them and just put the certificates on our shelf. So we are, you know, spreading the word to let everybody know that, that we have them. But yeah, we have, you know, other brands like the Auberge brand, which is five star luxury resorts that we have in our collection and our fabulous Lori Dye also got to experience one of their properties down in Costa Rica, the Hacienda Alta Gracia which was just before we got there, um, Reese Witherspoon was there with a bunch of girlfriends. So I said to Lori, I said- Newly single too, Reese. right? It's she's on the all, loose. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah she's that's on true. The loose. She's <sighs> on the loose, but it was, you know, it's it's one of those places where we can understand why it would be attractive to certainly a, a high profile crowd. It's very expensive, private, remote, um, and just a blissful sanctuary um, that, knocked our socks off i mean just just walking out of our villa you know the vistas that you see and the you know the animals and the birds and ooh, this to died for just a spectacular experience so yeah these these five-star trips um are in our portfolio and this is what you know people are aspiring to to do do something different out of their and treat themselves especially if they're it's a, it's a reward Shootable. from the cup I'm loving the focus, the hyper focus on luxury. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Yes. Are your, do you find that your clients have caused you to angle it in this direction or are you angling well, it in this direction and the clients are coming for the luxurious experience? Well, I think in the incentive space with the corporate right. buyers, there's different tiers and different levels of vacation programs that they're looking to source. But there is definitely a caliber that's looking for that five-star luxury experience as well. So I'd have to say it's both. And it's important that we had both a midstream, more of a contemporary middle of the road. Because that's right. where usually the bulk of winners are. And then the elite, Gosh. you know, your In press the club or chairman's club. The, the, the best of the best. Those are the ones that typically get rewarded with those really out-of-this-world luxury experiences. So it's important that we, we actually are able to accommodate both. Awesome. And okay, we feel sorry. like our, our portfolio absolutely touches upon that. And it really has something for everyone. And we are continuing to onboard new brands as we speak as well. So, um, yeah, so it's exciting times. It really is for us. Considering, what, what are we about, Pam? Six months, nine months into it since our- Six business. months. Wait. Uh, yeah. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Seven. 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 Extra people to go on these yacht cruises. Here we go. Nowhere to yeah. find us. Yeah, that's why you're really here. And we, and we have to point out to Kenny and All Fly because you guys are yeah, our to air partner, and well, uh, we're so appreciative of the partnership we have with you guys. So thank you, thank you so much for that. Oh, and no problem at all. You no, actually, you know what? I just wrote. I just wrote wrote down Presidents Club because we're working on our SEO now. And I was thinking like, wow. that's actually a fun way to market what we uh -huh. do is like the best X for President Club winners. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm gonna look into that keyword and see what it's like to kind of dominate traffic from uh -huh. that keyword. Cause I, cause I, like I, I would assume um, we've, we've been on this kind of kick about building the top of our funnel and uh, kind of garnering awareness for all fly. And so that's why I, I was po I was poking around about like how do you guys get the word out about your business? Is it mostly like meetings and events? I know in the mice space, there's no shortage of events to go to. Uh, so do you find okay. like the most bang for your buck in terms of like marketing and cost spend is at events, or are you guys like big on social media? Uh, what's kind of like the like mix there? Yeah, I think it's the events for us. I mean, the events yeah. are really critical because that's where the buyers are. You know, yeah. the IMAX is, you know, huge for us. I mean, we, we were booked up with appointments it's so fast. I mean, it was, it, you know, it was really kind of mind boggling. And so, yeah, I mean, the appointment based shows are great because then you have someone who is, you know, expressing interest in your particular product yeah. and spending, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes with me, which is 
hugely powerful. Social media is a support, you know, part of all of that. That's how people know what we do and what we sell. Um, but really, it's the events that are, are key. That's where we make our connections, not only with um, potential buyers, but suppliers that we so want to bring sides. on board. Yeah, both yeah. sides. Absolutely. Like at IMEX, I'm the one meeting with new suppliers to bring into our portfolio, while Lori's meeting with buyers who want to buy from us. So, you know, it's we have a, a, a multi-tactical approach at most of our events to to really you know, make the most of them. Because these, are, even these, these events are not cheap, but so yeah. it's an investment. So you've really got to make the most out of them and be strategic about who you want to meet when you're there, who you want to get together with, who you want to look for. Um, but those really are, are for us the best ROI. Yeah. After IMAX, I eat rice and beans for like a month just to recoup. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, yeah. so expensive. Yeah, I know. We're <laughs> cheap. <laughs> no, no. What, what would you say is the best event for you guys? Like most bang for your buck? No. What do you say, Lori? Probably IMAX. Well, I picked IMAX, and there's another one that we go to annually called the IRF, which is the IRS Search Foundation, and they do an annual invitational, and that's where suppliers and buyers come together. Um, and you're going to find corporate buyers as well as third-party buyers there, and that's really a great event for us um, when it comes to networking and networking. building and you know strengthening the relationships we already had with people. Mm -hmm. I would say those are probably our two biggest ones. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I think that 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 that's the one thing we've been following a lot about all the AI news and how well, AI is going to take people's jobs, and it, it is going to take people's jobs. I showed my wife something this morning, and I was like, "She's an attorney," and I was like, "Your assistants only have like two years left. Wow, that's a oh. job that's gone." You should have saw. I saw a demo this morning where the AI bot responded to someone's emails intelligently. It booked people on a calendar link when they were when they were supposed to be booked. It filed them away in a folder when they mm -hmm. were supposed to be filed away. And it responded pretty much intelligently. And this is like the first inning of it. Well, and I told my wife, I was like, I wouldn't want to be your assistant because that's not going to be a job in a little bit. I know. Uh, and then I was thinking about travel and I was like, what are the implications for travel? And okay. I think that our mice industry will be safer a little bit because so much of it is built on connections. Like Connor Ann just met, just met someone in Vegas who literally told her, I only do business with people I've met in person. Right. Right. And there is that that carries on in the mice world. Would you say that's fair? Yeah, I think so. And I, I saw a, a, on uh, it was on sixty minutes this past weekend. This oh, yeah. whole AI thing freaked me out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, at the end of the day, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It's coming, and uh, it's going to be here. And to 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 your point, you know, I think this is a people business. Yeah. Um, and this is a relationship business. As Lori and I have learned, we started our business because of the relationships we had. We are, you know, able to grow our business based on our relationships. So, you know, to the extent that AI will eventually be able to support us in some way, that that certainly is a, is a possibility. But to the extent that it's selling for us, you know, and, and doing that, it, that that you know that that won't happen um, because this is truly, you know, who you know, who you trust, um, and and who you want to do business with because of that personal relationship. That's that's critical. I think travel will be safe for a little bit just because of that B2B sales aspect Formal. of like, because no one's giving up their IMAX uh, conference and going there. It's right. like fun for everyone. So they're going to lock that in. The, in. the incentive is there for them to be like, oh, I do business with Pam and Lori. Those are, that's who I like. And uh, yeah, it's, I've been thinking a lot about it. And I was wondering with mm -hmm. you guys, like how it, how it will affect you guys. Maybe you could use it for like ser like servicing. Service and support. Yeah, potentially. Right. yeah that's, customer service. But that's down the road. I mean, you know, you know, for us, it's it's right now we're in a place where, you know, the service team we have in place works for us. Um, and it, there, But there has to be a, a knowledge about the products we sell. That's yeah. the thing is, you know, you have to be able to, you know, intelligently recommend um, and know how to, you know, but the nice thing about owning our own business is if somebody asks us to do something that's out of the box, we can make those decisions and tweak things here and there and, and make it work for them. And that's, you know, you need, you need a human to do that. Um, yeah. So, you know, yeah, I think it's some support capacity potentially, yes. But for now, we're, you, you can't have a cocktail with a box. So, yeah. you know, you want to get together <laughs> and, and network with people and, you know, and 
that's that's really the, the foundation of a relationship. I want to know, tell people who want to start a business with their friend, how do you pull that off? You guys have been working together for so long. You guys are adorable. Yeah. And no. I mean, just like, what is the secret sauce to like making it successful, making it work? You know, it's so funny. She and I, it's, it's, it, I'll, it's a true story. When we were in our 20s, which was a little bit of coming, um, no. we, when we first yeah. met, we said, you and I are going into business together. We're like, we got to go into business together. We became fast friends. We worked at the same travel agency. We immediately hit it off. And we were like, we got to get into business together. Well, here we are 30 years later. Uh, I'm finally going, okay, <laughs> you know, let's do this. It's just so fun. But you have to, what's critical is you have to have complementary skills. And I think, you know, she and I are both really good at a lot of the same things, but we're also both really good at very different things. So I think it's important that you have someone that compliments you in that way that does things that you don't like to do or can do things that you don't <laughs> yeah. like to do. And it that's been really, really helpful to us. You know, some things that one's more comfortable with than the other is how we kind of, you know, work the business. But it wouldn't work if we were both, you know, exactly the same with all the same skill set and the same that's strengths, you know? Well, it's just a lot of hard work. It's, um, you know, you've got to use your contacts and your connections and your resources. Um, you have to have a strategy in place. Mm. You, don't, you don't just fly by the seat of your pants. You know, Kim and I are very structured. We're very organized individuals. We're both willing to put the time and energy into building the business. And yeah, there's going to be ups and downs and good days and bad days. And you just got to be able to go with the flow and stay positive and, and keep trekking along, you know, and I think you but know, you really ultimately will have to trust each other. And I think we inherently trust each other. You know, that's critical. You know, we we trust each other's judgment. You know, when one says, my gut tells me this, my gut tells me that, we listen. You know, and that comes from years and years of friendship and knowing and putting that trust and faith in each other. Yeah. That's yeah. critical. So that's cool. That's awesome. Plus, it's just fun being in business with your friends. So <laughs> I, I agree. Bet. I really respect uh, Adam Sandler. He just does all the movies with his buddies. Yeah, yeah. It has to be a fabulous way to live. Like, hey, yeah. let's just go from movie to movie and right. let's make money and hang out and do cool stuff yeah. together. I, I think that's the way to go. I, I've never understood when people are like, don't go into business with your friends or your family. I think it's a oh. reflection on you. Like you have to be straight up and honest. Yes. If you can communicate clearly, you could probably make it work. But it's the people who can't communicate clearly. They, you know, don't have clear expectations. Then it gets mm -hmm. sideways and toxic. And but I agree. I the point of life is to do cool stuff with people who mm -hmm. you respect and like. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so it only took us thirty years, but we eventually did it. <laughs> you got there. Yeah. You're taking so you, people to space. Journey getting yours and a lot of fun too. So <laughs> we enjoy it. Super bride. Yeah. So. So you guys worked in the travel agency space and then you worked for the cruise lines and yep. now you're your own business. What would you say is the biggest change that you've seen in travel over the last decade? Oh, that's a good question. Biggest hey. change we've seen in travel over the last decade. Oh, I would say um, the do it yourself first. Because before, mm. I just say, you know, that, I mean, that's been evolving and there's been a lot of people, you know, being, doing everything on their own. Um, you know, we, we were travel agents. You had to call a travel agent. You know, you really didn't have the ability to book trips, you know, otherwise. I mean, you could, mm -hmm. you know, call an airline, but in terms of actually booking the vacation, it wasn't really doable the way it is now. Mm. Uh, and the also, uh, the other thing I think has just been the evolution of experts and specialists, people yes. that are really um, becoming very, very mm -hmm. um, knowledgeable in a very specific kind of travel and for, because for us you know gosh we sold everything when we were travel agents we i mean the whole world we specialized in nothing um you know we literally <laughs> sold everything and Change. you know but now I, it's just a lot of people that really have kind of become hyper focused on a particular type of travel and really made a great business out of it you know being a hawaii expert or you know uh, uh an expedition expert whatever or a certain destination in particular um, so I think that's really kind of evolved. And I think people are migrating back to those specialists because there's so much information out there that an expert and a specialist can really kind of help you slice through all of that and sort of guide you on the right path. I think people today are realizing that they need more balance and, and to get the way, even for a few days, is so critical to your health. 
right? So right. I think more and more people are opting Different. to travel today, even though it might be a close to home destination. Um, well, I not- think travel's on everybody's list today, young and old alike. Uh, I also think personalization. People want to do what they want to do when they want to do it, right? That's really, yes. I mean, he's seen that in the mice space big time right now. People don't want to be dictated to. They want to do what they want to do. And yeah. event for travel is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's uh, a lot It's a lot more uh, more frequent vacations for shorter durations. So versus yeah. the one long, you know, two-week trip, a lot of people are taking more frequent, shorter trips. That's been also an evolution probably in the last 10 years that that's come about. But like Lori said, you know, they want to do things that are different. People are kind of wanting to get out of the normal box of the trip destination and see things that are uniquely cultural, culturally interesting to that destination and get off the beaten path and sort of go to these lesser known places. So that's been obviously growing and expanded as well in the last two years. That instantly makes me think of how Airbnb expanded their experiences yeah. into like all these yeah, incredible, yeah. really wacky places to stay. Like you can stay in a giant potato. People <laughs> want to do different things. People, you might want to go to Idaho and stay in a huge potato for your vacation. Well, that's, well, that's, <laughs> that's way too correct. But there's two brands that we've actually talked to recently. One is called AutoCamp um, and the other one is called Getaway Cows, which are the little houses that they've made these kind of outpost areas in probably a dozen different destinations in these remote destinations throughout the U.S. And at auto camp is where they take those um, high Airstream ed- trailer. Campers. Airstreams. Yeah. Campers mm. with mm-hmm. the same exact kind of experience, the tents, the glamping, all of that type of stuff. They are all changing, but it's kind of fun. I've never been camping a day in my life, but I would go glamping. glamping. I would glamp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not uh, just opposed skip to the glamping. Camping, glamping. <laughs> Anything with amping, just get just pass. <laughs> That's a no for me. <laughs> well, I'm with you. Favorite uh, vacation destination for the both of you? Ooh. Tough call. Tough call. I would have to say Italy. probably. Yeah, Italy. Italy's a tough one to beat. Oh. Italy's a tough one to be. Where in Italy are you going? Northern it? Italy, Southern Italy? Everywhere. <laughs> ah. Everywhere. Give me the whole coastal region from Posit, you know, from Portofino to Positano yeah. down to to Capri. Love it, love it. Um, mm-hmm. I have to need to get to explore like the Lake Como region, but I just absolutely love Italy, the people, the food, the culture, everything about it. That's always my answer too. <laughs> but there, <laughs> yeah. if you want to just I always love the wine country region. I just came back from Napa again, and I just absolutely love it. It's kind of a getaway for me, and I really enjoy it. It's fun. Yeah, Napa's I great. Wine. I don't like wine, but a wine country. <laughs> yeah. <Well. laughs> Crucial. <laughs> Let's finish the podcast on like a manifesting note. Where do we want Gift the Trip to be oh. in five years from now? Oh, my gosh. Well, in five years from now, what, Lori, we, we might... We might be sold. <laughs> That's a good answer, too. That's let's a good answer. Let's right. spell it for right. a bajillion dollars. Yeah. Sold, yeah. do I mean, you I'm... do do you guys have an internal number that you've both discussed and have agreed upon? Wait, 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 we we Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk offline. <laughs> we'll talk offline. Oh, yeah, we might. Yeah. I mean we so here's the thing. We're we just started and yeah. uh you know, the plan is to build it up you know, and potentially eventually someday sell. So, you know, this right now we're having fun and we're enjoying uh, the building process, the growth process, and honestly, you know, just sort of creating something and making it better and better. You know, just like you guys, Kenny, you know, you're constantly listening to your customers and getting feedback. How can we make what we're doing uh, even better and even easier? And, you know, we really want to provide a solution. It makes us feel so good about what we do is that we know we are helping. We know we are making a difference. We know that this company and the service we provide is helping um, our partners tremendously. And that's a really good feeling. So we want to keep building upon that and, and ask them, how, you know, what else can we do for you? How else can we make this better and really make a great company and a great product and continue to build the brand? Yep. Yeah, you have a great product. It sells itself, to be honest. And I'm excited well, to meet you two in person soon bragging on the pod we're all going on a Cinco de Mayo date so I know everyone uh, listening will be like jealous we already Connor because we <laughs> see you on your podcast so <laughs> oh I love it thank you guys for coming on the podcast and for being here you're wonderful and 
Gift a Trip is so cool. We'll post it all over the place. Where can people find it if they're listening to this? They're going to go to www.giftatrip.com um, and check us out. And, and you'll see a pop-up every month. We have a new partner of the month that's featured with, uh, you know, exciting offers and specials and things. So, uh, you know, always check back regularly and see what we're up to. And, and follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook. And uh, you'll see our posts of, of where we've been lately, the products we're promoting new onboarded products that we have and, you know, uh, great ideas and how to utilize our turkey uh, solutions. So yeah. thank you for having us. We really and, appreciate it. And there's a, yeah. there's a small rumor going out that if a company hears this and they buy a thousand packages, you're going to send them the space for free. Is that true? Can you confirm oh, sure. that? Yeah, <laughs> it, we have absolutely. To Everything's fine. <laughs> Anything's All right, possible. you heard it here first, a special <laughs> promotion. <laughs> You buy a thousand luxury packages, Pam and Lawyer are sending you to space. Stop.